again, Guardians, and welcome back to the channel for another Destiny episode. Before we get started, I'd like to first announce I'm giving away a thousand silver for Destiny or a Destiny emblem away from the Bungie store. All you have to do to enter and win for this week's giveaway is be subscribed, share your support, and like the video, and leave a comment down below in reference to Destiny 2. Alongside all of this, though, I'm giving away three copies of Destiny two normal copies for any system, including PC, or a Destiny 2 The Collector's Edition, also available on any system or PC. So if you want to enter in for any of this, please check the video link down in the description of this video to learn how to enter in for any of those giveaways. Alongside that, enjoy the video. To get right into today's video, we're going to solo the Nightfall for this week. Thanks to a subscriber of mine, he came to me asking for my help on how to solo the Nightfall, and it came to my attention that if one person asks me a question, then a bunch of other people are going to want to know how to as well. So I decided to make the video, and I've also decided to make a series on this. So every single week, we're going to solo the Nightfall with a Guardian, and we're going to teach you the weapons, the abilities, and how to solo the Nightfall with the tips and tricks that I have, including glitches, because some of them will have glitches, including this video. I will have a glitch in this video that I actually do use to get my Hunter through it. And I find that the Hunter is the easiest character once you get past the first part when you're trying to take care of the Warsat. So in this Nightfall, you're going to want to run a Celestial Nighthawk Golden Gun, but you're also going to want to have Bones of AO ready. And you're going to want to have a Sword ready. Alongside that, after you have your Sword and your Bones of AO ready, your Celestial Nighthawk, make sure that your Golden Gun is going to be running Deadeye. You're going to want to run Keyhole, and you're also going to want to run Over the Horizon. Now, for the weapons, you're going to want to run Vision of Confluence Adept. You could opt in for the Vex. I felt like the Vex was a little unstable when I was firing it. And you could opt in for the Abyss Defiant. That worked out pretty well as well. And then you could also opt in for the Smite of Moraine from the King's Fall Raid. So, yeah. I'm not going to be using Smite of Moraine. I don't like it, but you can use it. I just prefer Scout Rifles or Auto Rifles over Pulse Rifles. Next up, you're going to want to have a shotgun or a fusion rifle with solar damage. And then for your heavy, you're going to want to have a rocket launcher with solar damage. Hopefully it has tracking and tripod, or it has grenades and horseshoes or cluster bombs. You're going to want to have a significant amount of damage, especially on the final boss run. As you can see by the end of the video, I actually used the rocket launcher quite a bit to damage him on the last phase. And I also used my Celestial Nighthawk Golden Gun to damage him quite a bit as well. After that, you're going to want to have your sword. So I'm going to be using the Raze Lighter. I'm also going to be using the Untube Dust, the Praetorian's Foil, and the Vision of Confluence. I also have a primary Burning Eye Adept, so I can switch between the Burning Eye Adept and the Vision of Confluence, so I can equip my Raze Lighter. I feel like the Raze Lighter is just the sword I like to use when I'm trying to do a glitch. So this is the sword that I'm going to be using. We're going to get into the video, we're going to show you the gameplay, just pay attention to what weapons I use. Also, remember, make sure that you have some heavy ammo synths on in your inventory when you're doing this, you're going to need them. And let's begin. So Guardians, once you spawn into the Nightfall, you're going to want to go immediately to the next zone, which is the Grottos, I believe is what's called. And you're going to want to decide whether you want to do it legit and defend the Warsat, or you want to go and do a glitch to glitch past the entire first section. Now, the glitch is pretty difficult to do, so it's either deciding to defend the Warsat, which is really hard all by itself, and probably dying a lot and having to reset the Nightfall, or doing this glitch and still possibly having the exact same issue. Now, I do have a full step-by-step -step tutorial guide on this glitch, and you can, in fact, defend the Warsat with the Hunter, and I'll prove to you that with this Odyssey Grimwall footage right now. So, moving away from the footage of my glitch really quick, here's the Odyssey Grimwall footage to prove to you that you can defend the Warsat with a Hunter. He is going to be using the Bad Juju, a Solar Shotgun, and a Solar Sword. He also uses the Celestial Nighthawk Golden Gun to take out the turrets on every single one of the ships. He uses the sword to take out the captains alongside his shotgun with any close-up adds. And after that, he did come very close to the time as you are about to see the Warsat is going to explode. But he made it to 100% right before the explosion, so he was able to complete it. 
After that, all he had to do was go down into the door, activate the door, and continue on with the Nightfall. So you can, in fact, defend the war set as long as you pay attention to the ads. Remember, though, if you do the glitch successfully, it's 10 times easier. Actually, screw that. It's 100 times easier. So let's get on with the rest of my tutorial. Oh, back to the glitch. Now, if you already know how to do this glitch, awesome. I'm going to have this portion of the video sped up. If you don't know how to do the glitch, then make sure to check the video that I'm going to be uploading right after this one. It's going to be a full step-by-step -step guide on how to do the glitch. I'll be doing the glitch with my hunter in the tutorial guide, so it kind of corresponds with the Nightfall. You can complete the glitch with a Titan. I haven't seen it done with a Warlock, so if you do decide to do the Nightfall solo with a Warlock, make sure you're using self-res, and also make sure that you go and defend the Warsat, because I don't think the Warlock will be able to get through this glitch. So, moving on with the Titan, if you're going to use the Titan, just make sure that you have Twilight Garrison instead of running Bones of Ao on the Hunter. Also, remember, you still have to use a sword. So, right after you're underneath the Warsat and you've gotten all the way through the glitch, you just have to activate it with your Ghost and then stand underneath it. I'm going to speed up this portion of the video because this portion just takes way too long. It takes about two and a half minutes of just sitting here and I think that's just a waste of time for the video. So all the ads won't attack you. You can shoot at the ads and they freak out, but they can't actually shoot you. Now after that, you're going to want to switch your sword and your bones of AO over to the Celestial Nighthawk and back over to your rocket launcher. Once you're done with all of that, once the timer is all complete and you've completed this section, don't kill yourself until you've actually completed it and it says open the bunker. Once it says open the bunker as your mission objective, you're going to want to either blow yourself up with a rocket launcher or a grenade, or you can come over to this portion of the map, and you can go over by the bunker door, and you can actually just go and fall off the map. I'm not too sure in the video where it was, but I found it, and I was just able to fall right down next to the bunker door and kill myself. After that, you're going to respawn, and you're going to be continuing on with the nightfall. I'm going to stop talking for the rest of this video. I'm going to let you watch my strategy on how to completing each part. And if you follow my guide to the T and you use the weapons I've provided for you and you do the glitch, or you even decide to opt in for defending the war set, you should be able to complete the entire nightfall in roughly 15 to 20 minutes by yourself. Congratulations, Guardians. You've just soloed the nightfall awesome job and as always if you enjoyed the video and it helped you drop a like share it with your friends and as always stay violent and be privileged if we don't shut it down half the cosmodrome could be at his front door
I could try to override Rasputin's system locks, but no telling how he might react. There must be some other way to bypass his systems. Really pretty mad at us. I think he... Yes. Yes, he just threatened us with orbital death from above. Let's get moving. All that raw power. Someday we'll establish communications with the war mind. Speak to it. Understand it. If we are ever to reach a second goal, it will be with Rasputin at our side. Rasputin has incredible technology under lock and key down here. I'm almost surprised he doesn't have breaches more often. I guess it helps he really, really doesn't like visitors.
That shank's been modified to crack his system. Let's take it out. That shank's been modified to crack his system. Let's take it out. No, they probably built that thing out of scrap from the Cosmodrome. It's lucky that it managed to work as well as it did. Maybe it was the size. It was pretty big. For a shank. Hmm. Would I be more useful with a larger chassis? Yes. In any case, Guardian, that was impressive work. The skies will remain free of weapons for the time being. She isn't here right now, but I guess you enjoyed the content. So over there is the logo you can click on. That will allow you to subscribe. More content up there, and behind the scenes daily content over here on the vlog channel. There you go. Enjoy!